What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, creator of the Outright Bar, Chief Marketing Officer, TigerFitness.com, and partner in Ambrosia. Voice is struggling today, but I'm going to do my best to get you this information. So, every year to year and a half, we have a whole natty versus non-natty um, discussion. And it's usually by the up and coming or the straggling channels, meaning the channels that are getting like hundreds of thousands of views per video and the ones still holding on for dear life, um, trying to remain relevant. <clears throat> or you're stating basically everybody does them because they're easy clickbait. I'm not here for the clickbait. I'm here for the truth. I'm here for the facts. And I'm here to tell you guys that just because someone looks really good doesn't mean they're on steroids. Now, one reason that a lot of this came to light lately is that Generation Iron, which I think is absolute tabloid trash, they actually did a video on Mike O'Hearn and Natty Bodybuilders. Do people question you um, when, when you say you're natural? Do they question you and say, since you I was 13 years old? I, think, I don't think he's taken it to the insane levels, you know, but personally, I think he's dabbled in it here and there. I don't want to discount his hard work. He is an extremely hard worker in the gym. He is an incredible physique. He defies age, but I don't believe for a minute that he's not using performance enhancing drugs. Now, I'm friends with Mike. Mike's a great guy. He's a good friend of mine. Um, nothing but good things to say about the man. However, you know, there's a lot of controversy now around if he is natty or not. So the question is, is he natty? The answer is, I've never blood tested the guy. I've never uh, had him pee in a cup. I don't really know. But I'll tell you what, I've, I've told this story so many times. When I was 15 years old, I was training at Gold's Gym in Venice, California. And I'll never forget I saw this young blonde dude surrounded by other dudes and chicks doing like 800 pounds on the glute ham raise. Like the dude was freakishly strong. He looked like a Greek god. And I think Mike's probably five or six years older than me. So he's like in his early 20s. And I remember seeing that guy and being like, this guy's a freak. So Mike, a lot of people who don't know Mike might not know this. Mike, whether you're, I remember seeing him, up, there's an upstairs area at Gold's Venice, just up there pedaling away on the bike one morning. You know, he trains diligently. He's at the gym at 4 a.m. every single day. And he trains hard, harder than any of you train, harder than I train. The guy is a freak, he's a beast. He's a genetic anomaly, all right? So, <clears throat> is Mike O'Hearn natty? Don't know, don't care. If he claims natty, last I checked, at least in America, I know you guys watch it from other countries, I don't know how your country does it, but you're innocent until proven guilty. Right now, Mike has, I believe he won the universe, which is a tested show. I have no other reason but to believe he's natty. Like, why am I gonna hate on a guy with a better physique who looks better than me? I don't care if he had surgery. I don't care if he had a facelift. I don't give a shit. Bottom line is he looks good and people get offended by that. But what if, let's, let's just go on a limb here. What if Mike is natural? Does that change your life? Because even if he's natural, there's no way in hell you're gonna look like him. There's no way in hell I'm gonna look like him. There's only one Mike O'Hearn. That carries me on to other guys that you see get a lot of hate. Simeon Panda, right? Here's a guy I've met. Phenomenal genetics. A guy who I think can eat as much or more than anybody I've ever seen eat. A guy who's obviously genetically blessed with proportions and. And keep in mind, Simeon, I believe, is like 220. But Simeon's tall. He's over six foot. So I'm 220 pounds. I'm on steroids. Simeon's about my weight, if not a little bit less. Or more, whatever it is. He's tall, though. I'm a midget. I'm like five foot eight, five foot nine on a good day. So the bottom line is, what we do every day is we look at, that can't be natural, that can't be natural, that can't be this, that can't be that. In any scientific study, you usually kick out the outliers. There's always gonna be an outlier. There's a great book by a gentleman named Malcolm Gladwell called Outliers. LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, outliers. Alex Rodriguez, with or without steroids. Frank Thomas, Ken Griffey Jr., Mark McGuire, with or without steroids, outliers. 
Tiger Woods, I could go on for days and days and days. Genetic outliers. What we see in professional sports is the years of basically genetic modification. That's why America does so well. You look at these homogenous places that used to dominate, Russia, right? China, they literally take kids from date of birth and they groom them to be professional athletes. We don't do that here. A lot of kids playing in the NFL, NBA, and all over, they weren't groomed. A lot of them grew up in the inner city with crappy training, crappy diet, a lot of times crappy coaches. But the beautiful thing about America is we're a melting pot. We have badasses from West Africa. We have strong mofos from Eastern Europe coming together and basically, what's the best way to put this? Um, they're breeding. They're creating super genetic freaks. They're taking the best genetics from some regions, putting it with the other best genetics. There you go. Tiger Woods, right? Like you look at these guys and you look at just the combination then you put them up against other freaks. You give them this training. With Mike O'Hearn, he grew up in days when I grew up, when we didn't have much when it came to technology. We just knew we had to train hard. But now, Mike's become a master. He knows how his body works. He's been training for 30 plus years. So what am I asking in this video? Look, you notice a lot of these guys doing these Nat or Not videos. They make their money off YouTube. They want controversy. They also, that's their job. Their job is YouTubers. They don't own corporations like me. They don't do what Mike does. They basically are the tabloids. They're the inquirer. So it behooves them to go out and create this controversy. When I see a Mike O'Hearn, I think to myself, wow, that's the result of hard work. When I see LeBron James, I think, wow, that's the result of hard work. When I see a Larry Bird say, wow, that's the result of standing out in a sandlot in a farmhouse in, in, in French Lake, Indiana, shooting free throws for hours on end. I don't look at this and see steroids. I don't look at this and see genetics. I look at this and see beauty. I see something to, instead of thinking to yourself, if he's, a, if he's not natural, he's a lying scumbag. Why don't you think to yourself, take the steroids out of the picture. Steroids, nothing works unless you do, kids. What did that man do to get to that level of greatness? And how can I take that little bit of knowledge from this gentleman or fine woman and use this to better myself? No, instead we're sitting here watching a bunch of dipshits who make money on YouTube, who make money on clicks, spreading rumors and basically slandering these people who might actually be natural. And if you follow this, and if you get riled up because someone might not be natty, that's your problem, not theirs. Look at the positive side, what work ethic, potentially in addition to that steroid use, got them to that level. And when you can break out of your bubble of mediocrity, outside of that bubble is nothing but greatness. Stop worrying about other people cheating Start taking the greatness they exude. Take one little iota of what they teach you, of what work ethic they teach you. Put it into your program and see how it benefits. So that's my video for the day. What do you think, guys? Honestly, do I think Mike O'Hearn could be natty? Absolutely. Does it bother me if he isn't? No. Should it bother you? It does. Again, that's your problem, not theirs. Anyway, guys, I'm Mark Lobler. Be sure to follow me on Facebook at Mark Lobler, Instagram at Mark Lobler, Twitter at Mark Lobler, and of course, subscribe to this channel. Make sure you got the little notification bell on if that even exists anymore, and that's not a game.